the French right wing, like the the extremist right wing, had this weird schizophrenic relationship to the, to Nazi Germany, where they were kind of, uh, you know, envious of what Hitler was doing. They wanted to to emulate him. At the same time, you're a French nationalist, right? You hate the Germans, <laughs> so they're always. He's doing great things, but he's a fucking German, and we don't like him. Hate love relationships. Yeah, just without the love. Yeah. <laughs> Hate, hate. Relationship, But yes. you're doing it well, relationship. Hey guys, welcome to another World War Wednesday. We are once again here with Gabriel. And Daniel. Because it's your turn. <laughs> it's it is your my thing. turn, yes. It's your French tree. Yes, my baby. I'm so excited for this. Yeah, I'm terrified. Not a big difference now, except like five new natural folks <laughs> or natural spirits. <laughs> a couple of new natural spirits. I mean, the the classic n- one. Naval Treaty has been there for a while. Victors of the Great War, Since you know. Since vanilla, right? Yeah. Um, disjointed government, also there. Protected by the Maginot Line, also there. Full employment is there basically the thing being that the French lost so many men specifically in the in World War One that they don't really have anyone who could be unemployed. <laughs> and that's a problem because when you build more factories and you start to ramp out your uh, industry, someone has to do all that yeah, work. Exactly. So and you also can't go and go, oh, hey, you know, all these men aged 18 to 21 <laughs> are now in the military because those guys need to be in the factories doing shit. Yeah, exactly. So there is a uh, pen layer, and it might be something else that might be coming up later that is a bit connected to this. Yes. Otherwise, we have yeah, political, political violence. violence. So basically, the communists and the far right don't like each other. Big surprise. <laughs> and Very from time to time, you do things that one or the other side doesn't like, and then they're going to have themselves a little riot. And finally, yeah, the uh, French economy in the in the interwar years kind of fell behind. So I wanted to to have that to sort of represent that so I could make the French industrial base at the start of the game a bit more powerful so they have a couple more factories without making them actually uh, put out a lot more equipment and stuff. So um, we still had this balance where Germany could beat them fairly quickly. Yeah. Uh, hopefully that's Unless not going to happen. Unless it's played by, <laughs> by uh, Daniel, then like Germany struggles a bit. We, we, we're gonna build so many of these, uh-huh. like layers upon layers, uh-huh. hopefully. So that's not super fun, though. So no, we're probably gonna play aggressively with forts. Aggressively playing with forts. Yes. All right. But we'll I'm, see how that. Exactly I'm looking goes. forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, we have to just hold over this. I did not click that in any yeah. way, shape, or possible. But this is, by the way, that. not Dan- just Daniel trolling. In this build, there's a sneaky crash going yeah, around when like you when you pr- interact with that i think it's uh like 50 percent chance yeah. that may if i if so you I can click just it, click it when we start losing yeah <laughs> click it and hope that we get the crash so natural folks three i think most people have seen this yeah. but it's still very nice that we can just zoom out zoom and just out a bit. see the entire tweet right away yeah the different buttons right here yeah to, to fill that stuff i don't know did we show this off last time i think we did yeah and then, of course, the lovely search. If we search for manpower, we get a couple of manpower foxes. Yes, yeah. very, very nice. We have a couple of cool new symbols. I like that one. No, that's not my favorite one. Where the hell is my favorite one? There we one. go. Ah, Just the massive leaders. eagle. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. The, the imperial eagle over Europe. But let's take a quick look at this. So what have we really changed? So in the industry tree, you built it... Well, quite focused on depending on like depending on how much you invest in it, the more you get yeah. out of it. So the idea was uh, again that France starts out fairly weak, and would need a long time to really um, get rid of all the the problems they have, and historically they didn't manage, uh, which is why uh, part of the reason why they fell so quickly to to the Germans. So in this tree, instead of you know just you you take a focus and you get a, a couple of factories pre- pretty early on you have to uh, finish a number of steps and uh, the more of these earlier steps you take, so the more of these invest in metropolitan France or invest in various colonies you take, the more it pays off later. So uh, as as you can see, it adds two fa- civilian factories in um, metropolitan states that you've invested in. So 
if you also invest in Algerian France or in Algeria, which at the time was considered part of uh, metropolitan France by the French, the Algerians <laughs> not so much. Um, Classic colonialism. Yeah, uh, it actually gives you more factories uh, for the same focus. So you kind of have to choose whether or not you get for go for the early payoff of actually having those factories, or if you want the bigger payoff later. I think it's it's a neat little system that no doubt uh, someone on YouTube will break horribly. Yeah, probably. Um, the one thing that someone pointed out is, well, these are 70 day focuses. Mm. So it isn't like, yeah, I'll quickly do this one yeah. just against Mexico. It's actually something you have to think about. Yeah. Since it's France, you have until like late, like 39 before yeah. something will probably happen. Yeah. So 70 days is quite a big investment. So yeah. you have to really think about that. I think I, I, I ran the numbers and if you go for the maximum payoff, you basically do nothing but interact with this system until the war breaks out pretty much and then you have a bit of a problem <laughs> exactly so we are not going to begin right there uh rearmament you have done some small changes right yeah um a lot of this is is taken over from the old uh, vanilla tree that people are familiar with uh, i just added a few things moved some stuff around uh, mostly because i thought it felt more interesting um Please don't read too much into like, oh, this is this is the new design. It's it's yeah. super well thought out. It's uh, <laughs> don't destroy my baby. That's <laughs> what you say. Yeah. So then we have the bigger changes coming into the political tree. Well, we can yeah. take this one first. So form the popular front. Yeah. So that's the left-ish um, branch. So uh, you have a left-wing uh, democratic government, which is what they formed historically with like a, a uh, tolerance from the from the uh, communists in parliament who voted with the government because it was a left-wing government and uh, but didn't actually participate in the government itself so there were so no I communist ministers historically um that kind of thing fell apart in 1938 over the whole munich thing yeah because they were a bit upset about that so i guess it's kind of this yes this historical path. That, that is the this is sort of what, what historical France uh, tried to do, at least. And then we have exactly what you said, invite communist ministers. Yeah, which that would the change the entire Yeah, the dynamic. idea being that uh, the communists actually get to appoint ministers and that starts you down the path to become a communist country, essentially. And then you, you pass some reforms that the uh, communists always like, like nationalizing industry and uh, agrarian collectivization and voting rights for women. And eventually, you kind of have to go to the remaining pe uh, people in the coalition in the center of the political spectrum and go like, listen, you are either with us or you're against us. And then uh, that flips you communist, but also gives you a stability hit, depending on how strong the uh, democratic parties still are. And then the historical path. Well, we could kind of include this one half right now. Mm. It is the... well. I guess you sneakily invited yourself into the focus tree. <laughs> Listen, they had a, a <laughs> prime minister who was Leon Blum, and I couldn't pass that by, yeah. especially since it was uh, incredibly relevant. <laughs> so the idea being that this branch allows you to sort of uh, alleviate your manpower uh, problems a bit more, specifically the I can't raise my recruitment laws because then I get a bigger penalty. You can get uh, around that by going down, encourage immigration, and essentially you, you immigrate workers so you can draft more of your own people. And remove that horrible full employment mm -hmm. modifier. Or, of course, French Undividable and French Union. Which, uh, the French Union was something they tried to implement after the war, where the various um, parts of the French colonial empire would become full member states of the French Union. Uh, historically, for some reason, the colonials didn't like that and <laughs> overwhelmingly voted against it. No one knows Did why. everyone? Uh, almost everybody. Then the ones who, who voted for it eventually went like, actually, this isn't working out. Oh. Okay. And left. Wow. But the idea being that, uh, so it, it runs a series of events uh, to represent various referendums. And if you uh, roll lucky, I guess, then... Uh, you get core states in your colonial states, which is pretty powerful. So it could really work out, but it could really backfire for you. Well, yes. <laughs> uh, otherwise, uh, both 
the communist and the nationalist, I guess, you <coughs> could kind of say, ish, intervention in Fr Spain. Yes. That's made a pretty big thing. Yeah. Which that I, like, I don't know if I want to bring this up right now. Like, it's something we've tried to really expand upon, and you have worked very closely, closely with Tricus yes. to I basically mean, get that out properly. Given how much time and effort and sanity he has lost uh, <laughs> making this Spanish focus tree, uh, like, poor guy, he's he's had some rough weeks yeah. trying to make that whole four-way civil war work. It would be a shame if we didn't tie into that more. Yeah, let, let's see. Uh, I think today, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine updates from Drikus about this Spanish focus tree. The overall thing that France is concerned with is basically trading stability against war support. You want war support because you need it to prepare for the war that's uh, going to happen. But your people don't really like the idea of another war. Yeah, they're like, already? Come on! Yeah, it's just, it's been 20 years, come on. So it's essentially, you lose stability to buy war support, or you lose war support to make yourself more stable. And the intervention in Spain decision uh, system essentially works in that direction, where it goes. The uh, decisions, for example, to send extra volunteer divisions to Spain, costs a lot of stability but also gives you a lot of war support and of course you uh, gain stuff like uh, army experience fighting in in spain and uh yeah you can make sure that the, the side you like actually wins yeah so the democratic one is slightly changed here yeah there's there's some extensions i mean there, there's still a classic in there the uh, yeah. the little entente uh, which now also gives you the option to invite britain <laughs> and their alliance into your alliance so merging the Entente, so you don't necessarily yeah. have to make a hard choice between do I want to ally with Czechoslovakia or do I want to ally with Great Britain? Because that's a bit of a, you know, false choice. Going with Britain usually better. Yeah, I I'm really liking this though. Yeah, so that's something people have been asking about for a long time. So historically, uh, in 1935, Britain and Italy and France had a little uh, conference in a Swiss town called Stresa where they agreed that they kind of wanted to contain Germany and keep Germany from uh, altering borders in Europe. Uh, at that time, Mussolini and Hitler weren't on the best of terms because Hitler wanted Austria and Mussolini wanted him to not have that. Uh, so there was kind of a, a natural <laughs> alliance there between them and uh, between Mussolini and the uh, Western allies. And then Mussolini went, hey, Ethiopia, you're a thing. I would like you to not be a thing. And that kind of killed that whole thing off. <laughs> so here the idea being that um, you kind of have to come to an agreement with Italy. Part of that is you just accept that Italy now has Ethiopia, uh, but you also trade some territory essentially to Italy in return for an alliance. So you have to give up, um, as France, you give up Djibouti. And, uh, you give up what? If you, no, if you look at Africa. Uh, no, they're up there in the in the eastern part. Oh, uh, this. Ethiopia. So that that little uh, port area uh, that is French, you you see to Italy, and you can ask the British to also join you to trade the um, the British part of Somalia oh. to Italy. So they have like a, a combined Italian East Africa, and if you do, Italy is quite likely to um, accept yeah, yeah. your uh, proposal and then you join in a faction called the Stresa Front. And finally, you can reach out to the Soviets, which they historically did, that never really came to anything. Um, but this means essentially that uh, Soviet Union and uh, France guarantee each other, so if one of them is attacked, the other one can be called in. Yeah, cool. And then we are finally getting kind of to the pass we're going to play, but yeah. first we have a slight something in between. Yeah, the, so this is the, the right wing path and the hard right wing in France was both uh, monarchist uh, with the Action Francaise. I, I butchered that, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I slaughter names left, right uh, and center, so it's all fine. But what, What's the nation called again? Germany? <laughs> yep, huh? Shut up. <laughs> uh, but we have the uh, fascist path, which basically is heavily inspired what, what, by what um, the Vichy French government tried to do, which was a national revolution. Here it's called a national regeneration. 
because it's not quite as dramatic. But the, essentially the idea is, again, that you focus a bit inward on work, family and fatherland. Uh, and you do the usual fascist stuff where you uh, hurt everybody you don't like. <laughs> and then France goes, hey, we have this whole, you know, uh, array of alliances in uh, Eastern Europe, Eastern Central Europe. Italy. <laughs> Italy. <laughs> Italy just yeets out of that war. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, so the idea being that you, you cancel these guarantees, which are set up at Game Start, uh, and then you have two paths. One is where you make your own faction and you invite Spain and Portugal and Italy, which also is something that they historically um, tried to set up during the war as like a, a power block with Italy, Vichy France, uh, Spain and Portugal. And here the idea being that you just make an entirely independent uh, alliance and then you go Congress of Paris, which is the sequel to the much beloved Congress of Berlin that splits up uh, Africa in like zones of interest. And then you get claims on, on various parts of Africa to uh, sort of rearrange that whole continent. Uh, a lot of the territory that you you have claims on you don't actually own, so there are people who own that, and you kind of have to come to an agreement with them. Come to an agreement? Yes, that's that's how you <laughs> do it. An ex conquer conquer. Yeah, I mean that's just the natural borders of France, which is I think the yeah. Rhine. Yeah, we can see here. Yeah, it looks like Switzerland here as well. Yeah, basically, uh, there there was this theory among nationalists that France had natural borders, which uh, didn't for some reason correspond 100% to her political borders. Uh, there were a couple of countries that uh, occupied parts of France that um, France wanted to have, like all of Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> yes, all of Belgium, like that. Yeah. And then, uh, on the other hand, you can work with the Germans. Like I, I always like to say that the, the French right wing, like the, the extremist right wing, had this weird schizophrenic relationship to, the, to Nazi Germany, where they were kind of, uh, you know, envious of what Hitler was doing. They wanted to, to emulate him. At the same time, you're a French nationalist, right? You hate the Germans. <laughs> so they're always, he's doing great things, but he's a fucking German and we don't like him. Hate, love, relationships. Yeah, just without the love. Yeah, hate, hate. Relationship, But yes. you're doing it well, relationship. We just have a tiny little air focus and naval tree here. Yeah, nothing no, strange, nothing no, special. No uh, massive changes. The the naval tree has been expanded a bit. The air tree I felt like works, uh, and we are already including the other two focus trees for Vichy France and Free France. Yeah. Uh, the entire thing uh, like for France is at 220 focuses, and I felt yeah. like that's enough. It was kind of discussed between either we expand upon these or we might have to push down Vichy France or Free mm, France a bit and, and we like le let's focus on the other French we are going to start going through everything so we're going to revive the natural block we're going to use lines the leagues and once we get there we're going to become a kingdom we actually we're going to become an empire I hope yeah. like we agreed on an like empire we're probably going to become an emperor okay, I, I was okay. thinking like we're going to ask chat but uh, <laughs> the chat would you say Listen. Napoleon 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 that's what you hope that's that's how you get Brexit yeah anyway so revive the natural block let's do that let's set up a very basic setup right here so I'm actually doing a slight weirder build than I usually do just because we're France we're the empire empire and we are going to try to just beat Germany on their own playing field almost like we're definitely gonna fail there that's why we <laughs> have the forts but we're gonna okay. build up for it uh, um, someone asked uh, if we are thinking about improving Italy in a future DLC yes so I keep I feel like I keep saying this every week but uh, we are looking into remaking all the release focus trees including Poland and the Soviet Union in future DLCs not necessarily all in one DLC uh, these reworks actually take about as much time as making an entirely new focus tree. Since we usually try to connect them as much as possible yeah. to the current DLC we're doing and then add connections with yeah. everything else. So I'm actually planning to probably just remove it right away so we don't have to mess with it. It's definitely not the best move to begin with, but I lose stability uh, right here. Mm. By, but but by having this, which might be a bit overpowered, so you might want to fix it later, mm. I can just ignore all other communist events that spawn mm. because that would just push it down as much as possible. Yeah. So it's 
I lose some of that direct industrial push or anything else, but I am removing that political violence very quickly and hopefully can avoid most of those bad events. <sighs> uh, wow, wow, that was a quick Italy. Yeah, uh, March, that's... That's very... Wow, okay. Um, yeah. Is Italy gonna be confident for this time? <laughs> and then they're gonna screw me by that doing that. Oof. Uh. I am like I, the path I kind of have laid out in my head does not include doing these. Mm -hmm. Now I'm thinking maybe I should. This one is a real tease. Several times during this time, if everything goes as it usually do, I will gain exactly 12 war support because of world tension. But just before finishing it, mm -hmm. it will tick down and I will lose mm -hmm. that 50 days. So don't pick that focus. Oof. And here. God, I love that combo. So ban communism. Sure, I get that penalty right now. But instead of having to take the penalty right there, I will pick. So I agree with communist. But very soon after that, boom, it's going to punch it down a bit. But, but you still you still get, like, originally you only got 5% uh, stability penalty, now you get 7.5. Exactly. So, so that's tied to, to the uh, popularity of the communism. Yeah, we're not going to have very many factories, so we need everything we can possibly get. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually going to rush this focus, revise the constitution. Yeah. So, yeah, so we get the uh, well, weak disability and the timer on that starting mm. to tick down. We're going to finish hopefully around, like, December 37 so we can actually continue down right here and start picking one of the kings but we'll have to see if we actually get there mm -hmm. today it's gonna be yeah. quite tight uh, utilize the league very nice but we're not gonna continue down that path at all since I kind of like this new thing though the combined total of unaligned and fascist support is over 50% yeah so that's uh, to represent the fact that the the right wing in France was kind of split but they also worked together so they were split between the monarchists and the actual just regular fascists. Uh, so once once those can work together, uh, you can you can go into national regeneration and sort of integrate the, those movements. Done by <laughs> Christmas, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that Heard that be before. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and Nazi Spain declared war on Spain, so the civil war has begun. We could take a quick look. Like there's nothing super special. It looks very much the same right yeah. now. And uh, more than that, you're not gonna see. <laughs> it's uh, like we. It is probably very done and very nice. It's probably gonna be very similar to this, <coughs> but since not everything is there, we do wanna yeah. just tease it a bit more. Grigus should have the opportunity to explain it to himself. Yes. Here we go. Council right there. That's gonna give us some nice underlying support and then revise the constitution. Finally. It's really, really necessary since mm. only 39% stability right there gives me and less of pretty much everything. Yeah. And at 25% you would get a civil war. So here is the tease. Most of the time, like... That should probably be changed so it keeps uh, going. Like, I, I like, I kind of like the thing where uh. if you risk it, you might have a shot of getting early mm. there. <laughs> but uh, I can understand if you don't want it as a late game. So... You, you guys in chat might wonder like, hey, why haven't, haven't Gabriel, well, ha why haven't I said that to Gabriel earlier or stuff like that? Because some of the parts are more fun to exchange together. Like, mm. I'll be able to talk with him. This is how I think about certain things. This is how we might be able to solve. Like, just to give you a small insight of how we actually work with, with these focus trees at Paradox. You, where you, usually it's just a lot more dramatic, like a lot more ha hair pulling. Yeah. <laughs> usually people pulling their own hairs, but not always. Uh, let's see, that's, 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 oh. I'm gonna wait a tiny bit right here, because one thing I really like is doing the outer roads, actually. Just to get up a couple mm. more areas with high, high infrastructure. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm probably gonna go down that path again. So, we are good right now for with inf infrastructure, just get those civilian factories, they are so very much necessary. Like, we need a big pile of civilian factories if we're ever going to get that fort line. Mm. Which, I'm not going to reveal exactly where I've bought it out right now, but um, you'll I see I would recommend enough. putting it in front of Paris, not yeah. behind Paris. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I was thinking here... Yeah? So, uh, Spain requests aid. So, th you have Co had a couple of these decisions. That was actually, that's uh, Drukas. Ah, okay. But, um, are we going to help them? Are we going to make France better? No. <laughs> I'm not gonna lose that blue power. Oof. That blue power Oof. is super, super crucial. 
screw communists for one second fall, even though I would like the communists to win, otherwise mm -hmm. you might have problems if, well, if <laughs> help Spain, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from Drickers right here. <laughs> this no. is all set up so you <laughs> help Spain, Christ's sake. No! Spain can go and die, unfortunately. Because I, I can't afford that. I really, really can't afford that. I'm almost wanting to say that in some aspect, France is harder to play right now. Yeah, the, the balance is still something that we, we look at. Uh, but on the other hand, France in in this time period should be more of a challenge. Yeah, like compared if, to some other countries. If you play it correctly, you will definitely be more powerful than before. Mm -hmm. But Germany is also pretty goddamn powerful, and God, with a couple of spy actions, I'm afraid France will fall. Even though you are a bit stronger than before. Yeah, that's another one of those things. Oh. Uh, if you invest a lot. Uh, if you want to, you know, maximize the factors you get out of it, you are uh, restrained to only three research slots for quite a while longer. Yeah, getting uh, like removing this in the inefficient economy is a really good one, and market didn't like. Mm. Mm. Those bonuses are so nice. Mm. Ten percent more cap, ten percent more growth. It's freaking excellent. Ah, oh God, there's so many things I want to pick right here. But I still always have to plan when is Germany coming. Yes. So we're just going to go down right here, pick both of these, and then do the first industrial expansion. We're going to get, I think it is like eight civilian factories right there, and it's going to be absolutely wonderful. <laughs> uh, Chinese United Front, so that's happening right now. So that's going on. Yeah, I mean, Japan's, Japan's coming. Uh, Ooh. There come the anarchists. So they start with a uh, reasonable amount of territory, yeah. but they, oh wow, wait, wow, almost nothing has actually happened in the war, and they still ooh. Huh. So I guess it's kind of a standstill right now. Ooh, that's interesting. Anarchist uprising in the Spanish Civil War. Those communists can never fight with each other. God, gaining 0 0.6 instead of 0 0.32, it's massive difference. But oh god, stability is. Stability and political power is really not one of the French string strong side. No. Nope. That's why I really just as quickly as possible want to get this. So we can remove this uh government and gain that 120 blue power right oh there. Yeah. It's a really, really necessary and needed double buff right there for France. We you at 13%. This, yeah, this, 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 is the, this is the safer one. The safe option. You have like two th and this only works if you have a third side spawn in the civil war. Mm-hmm. So it is the safer option, but uh, none of the sides is about to lose. Oh god, Madrid is actually very nice. No, oh god, it would feel a lot better and a lot safer if I did it right now. But taking those two four civilian, four military factories right now would reduce the amount of civilian factories I have. No, 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 wait, no, <laughs> no, 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 right. no. Okay. We're, we're gonna do this the risk away because it's more fun because if everything goes as planned we are gonna get a lot more factories but from another another area another mm. side another thing another source uh, another source yeah uh, is, it, is the source Belgium <laughs> maybe <laughs> don't spoil <laughs> it <laughs> you mean France <laughs> northeast <laughs> France <laughs> yes uh, mm. let's see um, one thing also is you know the one thing we talked about that we don't really want to show just yet? Wh which of the many things that we w don't really want to show? The, the last thing I wrote to you. Oh, that thing. Yeah. I realized that, you know, the generic focus trees? Mm hmm. That's how you get like a billion factories as France. Uh, oh, oh. You. It's oh, that is disgusting. It's so awesome. It is disgusting. You I should be ashamed of yourself. I, I realized like. Why do have I have more military factories than Germany? Oh, that is... Oh mm, my god, it was mm, so, so, so I'm, awesome. I'm going to have to talk to Dan. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is a bit of a problem. It, <laughs> France become this super mighty powerhouse and just uh. screwed you. <laughs> Screw everyone. <laughs> Screw everyone. <laughs> I'm going to take over the world within 41. God, it's such a powerful one. And just imagine, instead... That you took over someone else that mm. has lots of things. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it becomes so oh. beautiful. <laughs> beautiful is not the word I would use. <sighs>
I had I completely forgotten that I was supposed to tell you that, but <laughs> I guess it's on stream right now. Yeah. So like I don't really know how we would fix it either. It's kind of uh, order sixty six. Yeah. That's <laughs> um. Hmm. Oh, let's hmm. look at this back pocket. What do you find here? Oh, forty military factories. Oh, forty civilian factories. Wow. What am I gonna do with all of these? <sighs> S slaps French focus tree. <laughs> this baby can fit so many yeah. factories. <laughs> So we could already right now pick this, gain four civilian factories. Yes. We can also pick this one and we will double this one. Yeah. So technically it's almost like you do a seven, what is it, 210 day focus, but you gain eight <coughs> civilian factories from it. Yeah. And you can, you can sort of do another focus in between. Uh, a bunch of people have been asking about reworking ideologies and I don't, I'm not going to say that's coming, but it's definitely on our radar that the system is a bit too uh, a bit lacking in depth uh, specifically now that we've had all these uh, focus trees that sort of have to fit all their ideolo ideo ideological ideology. uh, uh, ideological uh, differences <laughs> ah. into these four big ones which is how unaligned ended up being monarchism except sometimes they're not crowned <laughs> It's it's monarchism, sometimes. Sometimes, yes. Some so of the time, it's always monarchism. Yeah. So as soon as we get 150 blue power again, we're gonna pick the lovely, lovely mil military theorist right now because we need that army experience. And of course, the guy we sent to Africa became sick. That's yeah, always. I mean, it's, it's not a great. It always happens. Yeah, it's not a great area to to hang around in. It's very hot. Yeah, but yeah, military theorist right here. We are gonna need so much army experience. It's mm -hmm. not even funny. You know what would have helped there? Intervening in Spain. <laughs> yes, but we said we were going to wait with it. So mm -hmm. I'm waiting with it because one thing there that is super crucial is Intel. And uh, I kind of want to show it, but I kind of don't still. We can still, of course, right click, but yeah. clicking here, should uh, we? Like, actually, I dangerous. think there are already screenshots in the dev diary. Oh, yeah, plenty. It's just we, we haven't really tracked down that crash and yeah. maybe we don't want to. Uh, so it's second of December. Wait, wait, wait. Do we actually have time to do? No, we don't have time for it. But how many days do we actually have? The sixteenth. <laughs> so <coughs> we will be losing four days. Yeah. But losing those four days might be bloody worth it. Yes, because mm. we get this one removed that much earlier, and those f we're gonna gain pretty power doing this. Hmm. It's tough. It's. But doing this one would gain us eight mil eight civilian factories. And those you would be useful already when you exactly. while you take that other focus. I, I would go f with let the let industry. let's do the norm the f bit safer path. Ah, oh, damn it! I don't like it. I hate I hate it. It should be a clear cut path for what's best. Mhm. Mm would you like me to put it in a yeah yeah a read yes a line please okay. <laughs> <laughs> Choices in a strategy game. How how dare we? Yeah, exactly. One of the big issues right now, before with the old focus path, or old focus tree, you removed, you got the armor reform and you removed disjointed government. Mm. And then it was war with Germany. Yeah. In this tree, you don't have that simple choice anymore because there are so many other things you would like yeah. to do. So you have definitely done your part in what the hell should I do now? So... It, it's nice. It's nice. It it's very nice. Kind of puts you in the into the shoes of uh, the French government in the time period. Uh, let's get to Philos, bro. Yeah. God, there are so many things I kind of want to go a slight bit ahead of time for to get it, but we are in need of Phil Hospital sooner or later. So. Mm. Yeah, I mean France is is kind of uh, restrained by by its manpower, specifically now that you can't just increase your uh, recruitment laws without without further penalties. Yeah. Exactly. So those 400k need to last you a while. But we are probably going to eat that penalty, actually. Yeah. Uh, so here is when I need to go back on one of the things I've said, I don't know how many times. Mm -hmm. But one of my things that I've said throughout almost all the years is always, 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 when you have it available, pick the next research slot. Yeah, it's Always, always powerful. get it. Damn it. But now you have to go back on that. In public, on stream. 
There we need to re repeal that. We need to repeal that now. All there right. we go. We repeal it. We no longer have a disjointed government, but we no longer have a stream either. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we're still two minutes. Uh, so we're going to go down one of these free paths. I was thinking maybe we should just give everyone a chance on picking. So either the only the legitimate heir or Napoleon. It's Napoleon. Yeah. Uh, but we can always give you a joint choice right there. Yes, we will just in Napoleonic fashion choose to ignore it if it's yeah. the wrong one. So we're probably going to go down right there. Go yeah, on. It's, it's a nice tree. It's uh, got some interesting things. Yeah, Napoleon by, by public uh, acclamation has has won. Yeah. Uh minus 20% division training time. Yeah. You, you do know what that means. Uh yeah. does that mean you can instantly deploy instantly deploy units? Nice. I'm I'm so good at balance. Spain also has a similar thing mm -hmm. where you you pick but one thing right there and then you pick another thing and both of them combine into instant deployment. Yeah. It's very very nice, but uh, like it might need to be slightly changed so it's like at least 5% training. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this first look on the French... F actually, the full look on the French Focus 3. Just the uh, half first full gameplay thingy. Mm -hmm. you, we're both extremely good with words. Yeah, exactly. It's been absolutely fantastic to show the guys off and teach you a bit more. But I hope you guys join us for next week. We're going to go the next session with France. And after that, probably Spice. But see you guys next week. See ya. Bye.